Motion tracking, or oh, it's not really that because it's not a video. It's like motion tracking where you put, but like it's on a picture. So um, basically, it's just putting how to put text onto a photo and make it look like it's supposed to be on the photo. Like um, I did this the other night for a mate. Um, then I put his name down here. It's got like all the shadows. Looks like it was actually in the picture, but um, this is a really bad example. But yeah, it's, I've only really done it twice. Um. So yeah, um, this is the photo I'm going to be using, um, I'll put it like, the download to it in the description, um, but basically you just need anything, like any photo, it could be like a street, like, um, like this, it could be a street, it could be snow, landscape, anything, I'm just going to use this because it's like nice and colourful and looks pretty, um, so, basically just open up your favourite Lightroom, mine is Lightroom by Era, I'm just going to close down some of this stuff, which is this, um, so this is what you should have, um, basically all you have to do is just delete the text, right, there we go, and yeah, so just delete the text, and then um, first step you're going to want to do is make a new material, double click on it, Go texture and like under color go texture and then go load image. Um you gotta find your image so um, mine's on my desktop so my mouth is so dry. Sorry if I start talking like a retard. Um when you go on open it once you come up with this just go no. And you should basically just have the image on there. So what you're going to want to do is have that down there, and then you're just going to want to go to this light. Um, it's like a circle with like four arrows going outwards. Click and hold, and then drag to background and let go. That should give you a background. Now what you're going to want to do is get the material that you just made with the picture on it, and just drag it on the background. That should basically just make a background. Um, now, go to render settings make sure you've got ambient occlusion on um, you don't really need global illumination but you know it helps um, once you get when you get your Lightroom open it should already have all this stuff because um, that's usually your Lightrooms do when you go to output you're gonna want to go to your picture right click on it and go properties and then go to details and it should say dimensions you gotta set that your dimensions by um, the same as the picture dimensions so mine's already set um, that should basically, that's about it um, now next step, you're going to want to go to this cube click and hold down and let go on plane so you get a plane and then leave that exactly the same and then you want to go to MoGraph Mode Text to make it text move that to the left or right um, don't move it, don't like um, do anything other than move it on top of the plane and then move it up a bit because it might be like under the plane so like that and then what you're going to want to do is highlight um, the text, the plane and your these lights or like basically everything other than the background um, so highlight them and you're just going to want to rotate this is the tricky bit you're just going to want to rotate all of them so it looks like it's sitting on here so like put it down a bit I'm going to turn off that I'm so, I've still selected it it's just that I turned it off so you can see the text um, put it down a bit so basically you just got to like wind it up with your um, surface so now that I render it it should look like it's like sitting down on the um, sitting down on the on your on the ground just like that um, now 
what you're going to want to do is um, select this material and drag it onto the plane and then you're going to want to oh no 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 don't do that go to your background click on the material hold down control and drag it to plane just like that um, so it should just look like it's kind of see-through so the transparency is down a bit that's what it should look like now click on plane go to tags cinema 4d tags and compositing click on the compositing thing and make compositing background the only thing that should be unclicked unchecked you should check it that should make it like invisible when you render it and um, you know make you gonna want to make the uh, plane um, like really big like about that big um, you can rotate it if it looks kind of weird okay that should be good should go down a bit oh, it's frozen Okay, now um, get the text and just edit that. Depth up. You might need to rotate that a bit. When you rotate the text, make sure you always highlight the plane. Things frozen. Just like that. You can always just go render and just see what it looks like. It should have the shadows because you clicked um, ambient inclusion on the render settings. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so change that to whatever you want. I'm just going to go galley. Change it to whatever font you want. Oh, make sure the depth is up. like So it's not real thin. So like about 150 or 120 or something like that. Um, choose a font. I'm going to choose my favorite which is... Amaze, oh shit, Amaze, whatever the fuck that says, but yeah, um, bold, because I like bold, and then because this, um, A has a point to it, it'll be underneath the plane, so I'm just going to drag that up a bit, um, and then basically you can just render it like that, you'll basically just be done, uh, make sure you put the, um, the text um, material that you got from the Lightroom on the text. Um, if you don't have that, just make a new material. Uh, make the color the same. Go to Reflection, go Texture, and go Fresnel. And then make the brightness about 20, no, about 38. Make the mix strength about 29, like, you know, around there. And then I'll drag it on. But you sh with your uh, um, your what's it called? I'm gonna put up one caps. Four. Um, oh no, better three. Um, once you yeah, you should have a material from your Lightroom. Now you can just render it out like that; it'll look all good. Um, you can add a color to this if you want to. But, um, yeah, or you can do next step further, which is what I do, um, is making these, I don't know how you call it, I'll just explain it. Go right click on Mo Text and then go Dynamics Tags and Dynamics Body and then do the same with the plane. Oh shit. Now click on the uh, circle and then the three little blue circles on plane. Make sure you're on the plane one and go to um, dynamics trigger at velocity peak. And then go to the Motex and click on that thingy next to it. Go to collision, individual elements all, and that's it. And you're just going to want to drag the Motex up just a little bit and then press play in your timeline and pause it wherever you want it to be. That basically just like 
makes it look like it's in the image and it's like falling and then like landing but um yeah basically you just pause it where you want it to be and go like that and then render um so yeah that's pretty much it guys um if you liked please like the video um keep a uh, comment on what you guys would like to see because I might do a little bit more tutorials um just comment what you would like to see um and then or what you would want to know how to do and I'll just make a tutorial on it if I feel like it um, I might do more of these like I said but I might not um I probably will and um yeah that's about it guys so um I'll probably put the final image I'll add a color correction to it and that's about it um on Photoshop and then I'll add that final image to um to the end of this tutorial so uh yeah thanks guys and, um,